Maybe it's the isolation of the desert. Or perhaps it's the heat, the dust, and the call of the wild. But the deeper you venture into Australia, the stranger it gets. Welcome to Wycliffe Well. It's not a town. It's not even a dot on the map. It's a gas station. But according to its owner, Wycliffe is the capital of the world when it comes to UFOs. I've seen it many times, yeah. The colour lights zipping around the skies and doing unbelievable sort of manoeuvres. UFO type machinery is, is observing what, what we're up to, you know, experimental wise. Nine yards in diameter, uh, uh, probably about half a mile, half a mile high in, in uh, its sort of hovering height. The United States has its Roswell. Australia has Wycliffe Well. There have been more reported UFO sightings here than perhaps anywhere else in the world. They had burn marks, perfectly burn marks in the ground, in a perfect circle. Pretty light was coming down in, really slow, went fast, disappeared in the head. And it just had these two rows of white lights that went around evenly spaced. According to eyewitness accounts, the skies above Lou's Roadhouse have been pretty active for at least 50 years. But the fun really started one night when Lou was serving a customer. One particular night I was serving a customer in the shop, but it was just after 9 o'clock. First, the equipment started to act up. At the same time, a young woman on a payphone outside heard static on the line. And if their story is to be believed, that's when the light show began. From then onwards, all of a sudden, whenever we lose our signal, we'd rush outside. Sure enough, there was something shooting across the park. And that's how we sort of related the, the loss of signal to uh, something in, in the sky. And obviously what was happening is electrical impulses on, on these machines or objects up there was cutting through our radio signals. Travelers who stop at his roadhouse have recorded their own close encounters. Yeah, well, you get your shooting star coming straight down, or straight out of the sky. These things went straight across. It was unbelievable. It couldn't have been a star or anything else. It was too plain. It was just straight out bronze color, beautiful shiny color, as though something was reflecting on it. Michael Williams is investigating reports of the paranormal in Australia. He spent 33 consecutive nights watching the night skies over Wycliffe with his camera at the ready. I went there because there have been reports of light phenomena for the last 50 to 60 years and I thought I might be in with a chance of taking some videotape of the lights when they came down low. On the 33rd night, he recorded something he cannot explain. And what happened was we were looking out into the dark from the Devil's Marbles looking down and after about two hours these seven lights lit up like an LED and started to move around really strangely. Oh, look at the one on the left there. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what is that? There was no sound associated with the lights and when you put binoculars on them, they did normally if you're at a, on a car at a distance, you put binoculars on, it'll split up into a beam. These never split up into two beams and they're always facing towards the camera. And on two instances, they actually do something funny. They do like a wobble and then pull forward. The video is inconclusive. What is known is that at the time of this recording, there is no record of any aircraft flying in the region. They are getting closer, aren't they? I don't know what the balls of light are. All I know is they're not meteorites. They move too slowly. and They, they pulse. Meteorites don't do that. And that the length of time that they move is just is too long. The only 
big clue to these mysterious lights lies 250 miles to the south, here. Well, Pine Gap's a, uh, an American observation base just out of Alice Springs. I, I suppose it's one of your main listening uh, bases around the world. It, it's very heavily involved in, in all sorts of uh, American military activity, um, but supposedly just observations only. But I personally think that a lot of this activity is, is based or is to do with Pine Gap. Covert experimental aircraft, extraterrestrials, a freak of nature, or maybe it's just something in the water. Because you can say these things, unless you've got something to back it up, there goes another loony. <laughs> Whatever has caused the lights over Wycliffe Well, it's put Lou's Roadhouse on the map. And that's got to be good for business. <laughs>